What do you think is more, more dangerous, Skid Row or South Central LA, Johnny? Me, myself, I, I say uh, Skid Row. I, I've lived in both of them, you know what I mean? Um, as, as a gang member, you know what I mean? And I didn't really have enemies in South Central, but I seen a lot of shit go down in South Central. This is the difference between South Central and downtown. I was in South Central and I was at a stoplight. I'm in my car. I pull up to the stoplight and I look caddy corner from me. There's a laundromat. There's a gate and I see a dude walk out the gate. He has a slingshot on, a pair of shorts. He got the biggest fucking gun I've ever seen. He got it in his waist. He has his hand on it. Now, mind you, it's two in the afternoon. He cuts the corner where I could see him. He has his hand on his gun and he looks around, he looks down the street. He walks out and then right behind him, his girlfriend walks out, pregnant, pushing a stroller with a baby in there. And I'm thinking, man, I tell my homie, look, we're in South Central, dog. Check this motherfucker out. So I show my homie, he sees the strap and everything. My whole thing was, you know, just the guy having the strap, visible, walking, like he didn't give a fuck. If the cops were there, he didn't give a fuck who was looking. And then to have his girlfriend stepping behind him, that shit right there, that's like taking it above, above, that, that above that. That's the difference between South Central and now, now Skid Row. Now Skid Row is a very, very dark place. What I mean by that is, it, like every year it changes. It changes like every year, but the thing about Skid Row is, you know, in South Central, they don't have a lot of tents like Skid Row. Skid Row has tents where there's guys that go inside those tents and don't come out for three months, six months. You might see a motherfucker and then you don't see him for a whole year and you're like, hey, were you in jail? You were busted? No, I live right there. You've been on that tent this whole fucking year and I ain't seen you because a lot of people, you know, um, like for instance, fentanyl, you know, a lot of people do it and they just want to stay still. They don't want to go nowhere. You know, what I've noticed about fentanyl is it's a very lazy drug and it's here, you know, in, in downtown and, you know, it, 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 you know, it changed, it changed the environment. It changed the style of a motherfucker who use, who uses opiates. The example I can give you is you got a heroin user and you got a fentanyl user. See, the heroin user could slam in the morning and then he's good all the way until like three in the afternoon. But fentanyl user gets high in the morning and then about 45 minutes later, you start to sweat, your nose starts to run, and this is only 45 minutes. You gotta get high again. And this is just all through the day, all through the day. So what I noticed about fentanyl was, number one, it has so many side effects. It, 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 I, if I would've knew it had this many side effects, I never would've touched the shit. But it has so many side effects and they're all long term. None of them are short term. You see guys walking around with their back bent like you might have made, might have made, maybe you have seen a razorback pig. You know, their backs are like, they go exactly like that. Well, there's people out there that their backs are shaped like that. And then their head is pushed all the way down to their chest. And for some reason, they get a big ass ball behind their neck. You know, I went, I went up by Maine, up there on the top, and I seen these three individuals. And I had to stop my bike and get off because I've never seen anything like this. These three individuals were all kneeling down, facing each other. All their backs were shaped like a fucking rainbow. Just, I've never seen a back like that. All their backs were shaped like that. All their heads were down. They looked like aliens. I, thought, I wanted to stop and look at them because I've never seen anything like that. And then it was weird because they all had their things out and they were all getting high and everything. But then when they all got up, it was like they stood up, but they didn't actually stand up because their fucking head was all the way like to their knees. You know, man, and I asked them, I stopped one of them, I said, hey man, does your fucking back hurt? He said, yeah, well, that's why it's like this. I said, yeah, but you know, I read up on it and it's, it's not your back, it's not actually your back. What it is, it's, it's your kidneys. Your kidneys is what, what, what it's attacking. The fentanyl attacks your kidneys and it gives you kidney failure. Now everybody's saying, oh, my fucking back hurts. And what they do is go, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my back hurts. Pretty soon, they're all the way down like this. And this is the only way they feel relief. 
If they get up like this, their back just, your back just constantly, it, it just, it just hurts, it throbs. And so when you bend down like this, you take pressure off it. I guess that's why all those people are bent like that because of the fact that that's what the fentanyl does. The fentanyl attacks your kidneys. You're thinking your back hurts. It's not your back, it's your kidneys. But just to relieve your back a little, you want to bend over. Pretty soon, you're bent like that fucking razorback pig. And I mean, that, that, I've seen a lot of people on drugs. I've seen people on marijuana, cocaine, uh, PCP, acid. I, but I've never seen anybody in the, the way you, the way your body, the way the drug attacks your body, that fentanyl, it, it, number one, it kills you fast if you do too much. Number two, if you come down here and skid row and you go and look at these guys that use it, you will notice that. It just attacks the body. It, it, it bends them in half. You know what I mean? And 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 it 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 it, it makes your attitude. Um, how could I put it? You become more greedy. You become more self reliant. With heroin, you know, you might see somebody on the street and he's sick. You'll get a well. But with fentanyl, there's people that see people sick and they don't even get them well. Now you know, um, and w w w using the heroin, it was a big difference because. Everybody's getting everybody well with the fentanyl. It's like, if you ain't got money or you ain't part of this group, you ain't getting shit. You know what I mean? You ain't getting shit. And I mean, it's so fucked up because it's so fucking expensive, but yet they don't even give you shit. You know what I mean? You don't even get nothing in there. But 50 bucks, man, you pay $50, man, you might get shit. Like the size of a fucking Tylenol pill? No, no, hell no. Half a Tylenol pill for 50 bucks. And you're getting love, you know? I've been to places where I've seen somebody grab something, and I'm like, what the fuck is that, dog? Oh, that's like $20. And it, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's fucking powder. If you open that shit and the wind hits it, it's gone. And, you know, dudes are paying 20 bucks, you know? What power to them, you know? Hey, you know what I mean? You know, it, it's just, I just don't understand it because it, 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 all the heroin users have flipped over to fentanyl. And, and, and everybody's like saying, oh, well, it's better because you don't poke your veins no more. You don't got to use rigs. But yeah, you know, the best advice I could give to anybody is if you're going to use this shit, read up on the shit. Because the shit's going to tell you that the side effects on that shit are, are fucking forever. They don't go away in a couple years. Your back doesn't get straight automatic again. Once you bend like that, you're fucking bent over. You're done. You might as well join those dudes up there and walk like them because... You know, they're walking and, and, and their head's almost hitting the ground. You know, and, and it's just, I find it so weird because I would think if I was down like that, man, I'd be irritated. My back would be hurting. But they're saying that the way they're bent, they're relieved. They feel good. They feel like normal. And I'm telling them, dude, you're not normal, bro. The way you look right now is not normal. You know, they, I, I've seen a lot of fuse use heroin. I use heroin with, with, with older cats that, yeah, they used to bend down. And be all the way down where their head was almost hitting the ground. But they didn't have that, that razor back look, you know, where your fucking back actually fucking makes like, like, like a rainbow. And it's, it looks nasty, man. Another thing that that shit's doing is what I read about is it's attacking your ankles. What it does is it attacks your pores, your hairs, and it, and it, and it, and it creates scabs because it starts to itch. So you scratch it and you scratch it. You know, maybe your hands are dirty, you irritate your legs, and then all of a sudden, it, it turns into some stuff. It starts with an M. I'm trying to get the name of it. Musa? MRSA. MRSA comes. I've seen these girls, man, and I'm just going to put it out there because, you know, I speak the real when I'm up here. I've seen this girl, and I was in love with this girl when I got here. Man, I was chasing her around for two years. I seen her the other day. Oh, my God. I was walking, and I seen this girl. Her head was like... But like hanging off her shoulder, you know, like, and she had a big ass ball right here. And she was like, Johnny, Johnny. And I was like, what the fuck? Who in the fuck is that? What the hell was wrong with her? Because her head was like, I'm telling you, it was like all the way over here. And, and, and she's real skinny with a big ass head. But I'm being honest, when she came, oh man, I was on her bumper. She's so fucking fine. Let's get back to what I was saying though. So she's on her side. She, she's Johnny, Johnny. And I'm like, is that you? And she's like, yeah, it's me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Come here. So she came by me and I said, 
what, what, what's going on, you know? You know, like I said, I was in love with this girl. I'm like, what's going on with you, you know? You let yourself go, what? She's like, it's the fentanyl, it's the fentanyl. I said, there you go. You're like the rest of them. It, as soon as I say something's wrong with one of you, it, the fentanyl is doing it. They're blaming the fentanyl for everything. Now, this girl, like I said, mind you, very attractive woman, very attractive woman, man. She's real petite and small. Now, she looks like a 15-year-old little boy. You know what I mean? Straight, shaved her fucking head off because she said she had bugs in her hair. She didn't fucking have bugs in her hair. What they do is they pick their head so much that they, they create scabs. And then they pick the scab and they feel that that scab, that, 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 that there's bugs in there and there's also bugs in their head. So then they pick their fucking head where they got big ass red spots, let alone scratching. And then don't even wash their hands, scratch their legs, and then go straight and scratch right here, scratch right here. I seen um, sores that they get on their lips. I don't know if that's from, you know, the way they cook, the smoke the fat and all. You have to get something real hot and then hit the vent on. But some people are so high that they get that shit hot and accidentally turn the fucker around. And instead of putting the hot end in the shit, they put the hot end in their mouth. That fucking hurts. I know from experience, I'll put it one time. Oh, shit. Burn all the inside, not the outside. But some people, they actually burn all the outside and the, and, and the inside and their lips all fucked up. Big old cuts. And for some reason, they're all picking at it, picking at it. One of my homies has a spot like this big. He's had that fucker for like four fucking years, man, five years. Big old red spot. No hair whatsoever, just red spot, and it's just caked with meat and blood, and he just constantly, uh, uh, and I'm like, come on, dog, stop that already, man. Leave it alone. Nah, something, little bugs are in there. You know, that, that's the one thing that I find very, very interesting with people around here that use crystal meth, you know, um, fentanyl, you know, uh, uh, any drug that, 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 that keeps you awake and keeps you doing things. I notice that these people, a lot of them are saying that there's a virus or there's a bug, you know, or there's, there's a new, you know, a, a new something that was created here in downtown and it's attacking you from your from your feet up. A lot of people are saying that their feet are hurting. You know what I mean? That they feel electricity coming from the ground up through their feet, you know? And a lot of people are saying this. Not just it's not just people are high and they're just talking. No, I've heard this from numerous, numerous people from different areas, you know, from different spots. And they're telling me that something's attacking their feet. You know, and then it gets to their ankles and then it creates big old holes. And then once it creates those holes, you know, there's one of my homies that he sat next to me the other day, man. And I was like, what the fuck is that, dog? What the fuck is that, homie? And he's like, oh, man, I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry, dog. I I've had these pants on for like five days. My leg, dog, like, I go, your leg, what, dog? What the fuck is that smell, dog? Why is he? Dog, it's death, dog. I, I, could, I could smell death, dog. What the fuck? Why is it smelling like that? He said, man, he was the best thing I could tell you, man, is that I was walking, and from the bottom of my pants, meat and skin was falling off. I said, what the fuck? You were walking it. Yeah, he goes, and meat and skin were falling off the bottom of my pants, making a trail. I said, off your own fucking leg? He's like, yeah. I said, five days you've been with the same pants? Can you pick it up and show me? Oh my God, oh my God, man, I fucking want, I didn't want to hurt my homie, but I kind of took it overboard, but I made him go to the hospital because he had chunks of his leg were gone, gone. You could see the vertebrae, you could see the veins, you could see everything on his fucking leg. Different spots now, but one spot was on the side, and I swear to God, there was like seven larvae, seven maggots in his fucking hole in his leg. And I was like, dude, you got fucking maggots in your leg. He's like, oh yeah, they're good for my leg. Wait up, let me rewind the tape. You're telling me that maggots are in your skin, in your body, and they're good for you? Well, yeah, because they told me that, 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 that the larva eats all the bacteria and all the bad shit. 
I go, you know what that fucking larva turns into, right? A fly. You know, I say, you know what that larva's doing, right? Yeah, it's in your fucking skin. I go, but dude, you actually have worms in your body. Me, myself, and I can't speak for no one else or all you out there. I mean, I can't have fucking maggots falling out of my body. There's no fucking way I'm, I'm going to sit there and be comfortable and eat or fucking talk to a bitch or want to get busy with her, you know what I mean, or lay down with her. And I got to tell her, oh, but, you know, I got to tell you first, uh, uh, fucking there's going to be maggots falling out of the side of my fucking shit. I know my homie had seven maggots. I counted them. Then one found, he's like, oh, put it back, put it back. You know, I don't know, I don't know what, what people uh, are talking about out here or, or what they feel they know. But, like, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you really shouldn't give nobody any fucked up advice because, you know, first of all, you're not a doctor. Second of all, you know, if you feel that, that you, know, uh, you should have bugs in your body because they make you feel better and they're healing you. Motherfuckers, we would have been born with bugs in our body, you know? Bugs would have just came in our body when we first came out the fucking womb and bugs were supposed to be in you. Bugs are not supposed to be in you. All that shit I'm hearing out there about, it's okay if maggots are in your cut, they're fucking healing it. Dude, your fucking shit is rotting. You're falling apart. Your body's dying. That's why there's maggots in you. When you pass away and they bury you in a grave, maggots are in your body when you're dead. So in other words, his leg is already dead. You know, it looks so bad that I told him, look, I'm going to fuck you up. You know, I'm going to fuck you up just because, you know, and he carries a pistol. But I don't give a fuck. I told him, I'm going to fuck you up, dog. And then I'm going to kick your leg real fucking hard. You know, I'm going to kick your leg real hard because I'm going to send you to the hospital now because you're trying to tell me that you're going to go home to your sisters and that she's going to clean it. And Homie, I can't even stand the smell of that fucking shit. That shit smells so fucking bad, Mark. I mean, I couldn't, I can't even explain to you the, 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 the stench that I fucking smelled when he was sitting next to me. And I'm telling him, homie, he's not a bad looking dude. I don't check motherfuckers out, but he's not a bad looking dude. I've seen him with some pretty nice women. But how is a woman going to want to sit next to this motherfucker when his fucking leg is fucking dying? Chunks are falling out of the bottom of his pants. That right there blew my mind. When he told me that, I was like, chunks? And like, like, why'd you? He goes, yeah, pieces of meat, dog. Like, chunks of meat are just falling out. And I'm like, doesn't, doesn't that scare you? I mean, me, myself, if my leg was like that, I, I, I'd be really scared, man. I, you know, I'd go to the hospital just to get it handled. There's people out here, man, that they, they have big fucking holes, man, in their fucking legs or in their fucking arm, their back. Big old fucking asses are like that in their back, man. This fucking big, man. Like three or four of them where they can't even lay down. Shirt all full of pus. I don't knock nobody for that because I've had my own. But there's some people out here that in Skid Row that just take it that extra mile. You know what I mean? They, they make it. They try to make their wound and their cuts and everything they have. They try to make them. Uh, they try to speak them into a. Uh, Existence where, 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 no, I'm okay. They actually tell themselves that they're okay. I don't give a fuck who you are. If your fucking leg is falling off, you're not okay. Your leg's not supposed to fall off. You're not supposed to have big old holes in your fucking body. You're not supposed to have maggots in your shit. You know what I mean? If you got maggots and your shit's infected and purple and pus is coming out and all this shit, and you think, oh, the maggots are going to make it better, and you pack... I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but I mean, I've heard this. The reason I address it, because I've heard it several times from different individuals in different races, that if you have maggots, you're okay. Nah, man, don't, don't believe no shit like that. Don't believe, don't let somebody shoot hot air up your ass or piss on your head and tell you it's raining, because that's what they're doing. You know what I mean? They're, 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 they're setting you up for death. Because if they tell you it's okay to have maggots in your body, your body's dying. You're going to get gangrene, and then they're just going to fucking start chopping they are chopping. They don't give a fuck. They'll chop your shit right here. They'll chop your shit right here. And they ain't going to give a fuck. And believe me, your life will fucking make a dramatic change once they chop your fucking leg off. Because there's no more getting up and, oh, I'm going to go over here. Oh, I'm going to do this. You ain't going to do shit. All you're going to do is sit there until the motherfucker pushes you. And then you're going to be able to go somewhere. Then you're going to become an asshole because you're going to want everybody to push you. You're going to think you have that right. You know, you're first on everything because... You're like an idiot. You let your leg get so bad that they chopped it off. Now you want to lay there and act like it's fucked up. You're not going to be able to live the same way once one of your limbs gets cut off. I know from experience, I, I, I got a homie right now. They chopped his shit off 
and he changed his whole life. He was like top dog right here. He, he, you hear his name, it's like, bam, that's, that's it. You hear his name, that's it. Whatever says his name, and boom, that's, that's where it's going to happen. That's how it stays. I seen him the other day, man, and he didn't want to get up out of bed. He, didn't want, he only got one leg. But I mean, he didn't want to get up and get pushed or nothing. And I, I kind of told him, man, you know who you are, right? I mean, I just had to give him a, you know, a little bit of a little bit of insight, a little bit of a reminder. You know who you are, right? I mean, shit don't move unless you let it move. You know what I mean? You you gotta understand. You gotta come back to reality. He's an older gentleman, I mean, but I had to give him a, a reality check because he had to come back to reality because shit don't move unless he 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 has he he puts it in play, and. He was sitting there, didn't want to do nothing, and it all started from him smoking the fentanyl. You know what I mean? There's so many people that are smoking that shit, and they blow up. They blow up because what this drug does to you is it makes you lazy. It makes you drag. It makes you procrastinate. And for you people that don't want procrastinate, procrastinate is you put these shit off till later. You know, and that shit's not too cool. Everybody knows when you push shit off till later... Sometimes it don't work out later. You know, you plan it all, but you get there and it's all fucked up. Well, that's what fentanyl has you do. You know, you want to go to the hospital and it all sounds good like you're going to go. But you take that hit and that dope just shuts your whole body down where you don't want to leave anymore. You don't want to go to the hospital. Now you want to sit here and smoke dope with your fucking leg falling off. That I, I just see it. I see it and I, I share it out here because, you know, I'm seeing this now, like today. And in the past couple of weeks where, you know, a lot of people are starting to use fentanyl, you know, and, and, and out there to those people that are want to walk up and, and lie and say, oh, I use fentanyl. And you want to take a hit? Remember, motherfucker, when you die, you lied. You lied from, from jump and said you smoked that shit. If you don't smoke fentanyl, I advise you not to take a fucking hit because you'll die. That shit will kill you. Everybody knows that that shit will kill you. You know what I mean? And there's motherfuckers out there. I don't understand them. They see a pretty woman, whatever, she's smoking, they want to come up and, hey, baby, can I get a hit of that girl? And they don't never even smoke. And this dumb bitch gives it to him. And I got to call him a dumb bitch because the dumb bitch gave it to him knowing he doesn't use, knowing he's going to die right now. He'll hit it, fall straight out. Bitch ain't going to do nothing. Whoever dudes are there are going to have to bring this dude back and everything. It's just, I advise the people that never use that. No, I advise you to stay away from it. Because it's not all what it seems. You know, everybody makes it sound like it's 10 times better than heroin. That's a fucking lie. It's not 10 times better than heroin. Because you have to do it every 45 minutes. Heroin, you can slam and get you for six hours. So how in the fuck do you say fentanyl is better than heroin? When fentanyl, you got to do every 45 minutes. And heroin, you can slam every fucking couple of hours. It's not better. Motherfuckers are letting people tell them that. And they're putting it out there. That, oh, it's 10 times better. Oh, it's 100 times stronger. That's fucking bullshit. All you're fucking doing is you're fucking doing some shit that they tranquilize your body with when they don't want you to move so you won't hurt yourself you're in the hospital. That's the last shit they give you. They give you fentanyl so you won't move. So all that shit about, you know what I mean? Uh, is heroin 10 times better than heroin? No, it's not even close to heroin because heroin is grown and this shit is man-made. It's just a synthetic fucking heroin that we're doing but it just takes more from you, more from your fucking life. You know, it just pulls away, pulls away. You don't even see it, man. You know, before I end, my friends that have all those cuts on, on, on themselves, even the girls, they don't see it. They don't see it. They don't see that that's a problem. They feel this is the excuse to use. Well, I'm not the only one with the bump on my neck. I'm not the only one with my back bent. What the fuck? Are you serious? You're not the only one? Motherfucker, how can you even say something like that? How, how does somebody even come to terms with that? Where, well, everybody else is back bent, so my back's bent too. What the fuck? I, I used heroin a lot of years. My back didn't get bent. My fucking didn't get a big fucking ball in the back of my neck. Walking around like, you can't even look up. They can't, these people that are like this, they can't even look up. When they talk to you, they got to... Look all the way back, like, and you're like, fuck, are you all right? You know, you want to just fucking like, mm, just the fucking head will go back up. You know, I, a couple of times I just want to 
give him a fucking uppercut just to see, you know, their shit would blow up. But I don't want to do that because that big ass ball, I don't know what it is, but it's fucking hard. It's, it's like the fucking size of a, of a softball. And it's fucking big, man. Either right here on the side or right in the middle. The one in the middle, from where they gather, that one hurts more than the one on the side. Remember, the one on the side sends your fucking head like it puts your fucking head way on the side. You know what I mean? And that shit don't look too cool. You know, being bent over don't look cool, but having your fucking head over here right in your shoulder does not look cool, especially when you're a woman. You know what I mean? I'm on these women out here because I'm a strong believer and I try to make the women a little bit better out here because it's it's much harder for them in skid row. You know, a woman has a lot of problems. I, I ran into a lot of them where they've been done dirty. You know, they're crazy because motherfuckers made them crazy. You know, fools did dirty shit to them, you know what I mean? And I see them, you know what I mean? And, and a lot of them, I try to talk to them and tell them, you know, maybe you need to do this. Maybe you need to do that. Maybe you need to go home. You know, maybe you need to stop doing this drug, do some of this. Maybe you need to do less. You know, I never try to tell anybody stop. I try to tell them maybe you need to do less because of the fact that, you know, um, and then the one thing I hear and I laugh is that people say, oh, no, I don't smoke it on, 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 on 10 foil. I only smoke on glass. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? You're smoking speed on, on fucking tinfoil way before even glass came out. You know, but I'm saying, you know, a lot of people get the, the, the misunderstanding that because you smoke on glass, uh, it's the tinfoil will fuck you up and the glass won't. You're an idiot. The, the fentanyl is going to fuck you up anyways. It doesn't matter if you smoke it on your hand, if you smoke it on a cigarette, if you smoke it on a joint, if you smoke it on fucking tinfoil or a fucking glass pipe. You're going to get the same fucking results. The same fucking results. You're going to get the same fucked up, fucking crook, crooked back, fucking big old ball. So all that about, I only smoke on glass. That's just a persona you're putting in your fucking head. It's just a smoke screen to tell yourself that it's okay. It's not. Let's go ahead and keep smoking on glass, whatever. Smoking on 10 whatever you're going to do, you're still harming your body the same way. Doesn't matter. So, yo, oh, you smoke 10 and you get those chemicals in there. Man, come on, man. A 10 you, they fucking cook meat on it and shit. Man, miss me with that fucking there's, there's chemicals that get you. Miss me with that bullshit because they wouldn't put 10 out for people to cook on if it was fucking had poison on it. But people actually say, oh, you'll get poison from the fucking, you know, the, the 10 foil. But, you know, I share that with people because I use a lot of drugs and through my life and I don't. I don't put fentanyl in, in the drug category. I don't put it in the drug category. It, it, it's so by itself, alone, it does so much damage that I don't even put it right here with heroin and coke and all that. I put that fucker separate. It has its separate thing because it changes people's style. It keeps you at home so you don't come out and you, you fucking get big and fat where you can't move. And then it gives you all those sores on your legs you know, it, it attacks your kidneys, makes your back bent. You know what I mean? So, you know, when those people are out there saying, well, I don't use heroin, I don't slam no more, I don't poke my vein. Yeah, but you're smoking fucking fentanyl and your fucking back's going to get bent. You're going to get all fucked up. I would rather get an abscess than have my back bent like that. You know what I mean? But I just share that with people because so many people are trying to make a fentanyl look like it's better than heroin. That's a fucking lie. It's not. It's worse. It's worse. Heroin's, heroin's better than fucking fentanyl. I know. I've used them both. They're completely opposite. That's why when people mention them together, I see they're not the same. They're not the same. Motherfuckers don't act like the way they act on fentanyl. You know what I mean? You fucking turn your head, turn back, and your fucking torch is gone. Everything. What the fuck? person right next to you stole it and they said, I didn't see it. That's how bad fentanyl is. They'll rob your ass blind. They don't give a fuck who it is, whatever. They'll wait for you to smoke and wait for you to nod out. And then they just rip you. They just rape your ass. Take everything. You wake up, you don't got nothing in your pockets. You're pulled out like rabbit ears. I seen it. I seen it. I watched motherfuckers get foods where they took one hit and nodded out and they fucking took everything. Skateboard, radio, pipes. So, you know, you people that are out there doing the phenomenon, and, you know, the best advice I can give you is Maybe you should do less or maybe you should just stop and go to a different drug because that, that fentanyl is killing a lot of people. And I'm pretty sure everybody out there knows somebody that died from fentanyl. And some of the people that died from fentanyl, what's really fucked up is they didn't smoke it. They didn't use it. All they did was touch it. Touched it. All they did was touch it and they OD'd. 
it hits certain people different ways. Motherfuckers say, oh, I touch it all the time. I, I don't know, D. That's because you're strung out, idiot. You know, you've been using, but people that, advice to people that never fuck with fentanyl, you see it, don't touch it. Don't fucking touch it. You don't got to touch it. Leave it there, because if you touch it, you're going to die. That, that's just the way it is. So those motherfuckers want to take that hit, if it's your first hit, go ahead, take a big ass hit. You're going to die. If you're going to slam it, I don't slam that shit at all. Because you slam it, you die. Little ass bit like that. You're dead. And that, that fucking uh, shit that brings you back, that Narcan, on heroin, you can Narcan somebody once, they'll come right back. On fentanyl, you got to hit them like three, four, five times with the Narcan, and then they barely come back. So, you know, I share that today. You know, I wanted to come and share about that fentanyl because it's out here, really looking deep. And, you know, I come up here and speak the truth. I don't come here and speak lies. A lot of people are putting a lot of lies on that fentanyl. I think if you're going to use it, just be direct with it because all those lies they're putting on top of it and making it look like it's, it, it's, it's a wonder drug, it's bullshit. It's going to kill you and make your back bent. You want to look? Come to downtown, go up there on Main, and just stand over there, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see the guys roll by, and you'll know who's on fentanyl because their fucking back is bent. And you'll see what I see, you know what I mean? And then you can make your own judgment. But me, myself... I don't understand how these people let that drug take so much effect on them. You know what I mean? Leg falling off. Motherfucking maggots in your skin. Maggots in your body. That it's okay? Nah, man. It's not okay, man. Don't let that drug make you think that it's okay to have maggots in your body, man. I, I feel that's very fucked up, you know? And for you out there that, that are going to use drugs, man, you know, do your homework on them first, man. Read up on them, you know, study them, you know, before you fucking do it. You don't got to do it right then and there. You can study it, whatever, and then do the drug. You know, I can't tell you not to, but I mean, read about it, you know. People that are doing fat, no, read, it, read, read about it. Go to your phone and read about it. See how much side effects this shit. See what this shit is doing to America and doing to us. Because they put it out here for the motherfucker on the streets. It's just another eliminator. They're, instead of giving you a fucking HRO little house... They're just going to give you a permanent fucking bed, and it's going to be in the dirt. That's all they did. That's all they did was just put the fentanyl out here just to move more homeless out the way. You know what I mean? And, oh, but it's a drug epidemic. Motherfucker, you want to move more fuckers out the way because you don't want to make more housing for people. You know, that that's the way I see it. I see it, that they're population control and doing it different different ways, you know? Fentanyl was just another thing they threw out there, you know what I mean? And it's not 10 times better than heroin. That's a fucking lie. It's not even heroin. It's a fucking pill. You know? Prince, Michael Jackson, all those fools died from fentanyl. But a motherfucker still go use it. You know, you see Michael Jackson died, Prince died. Motherfucker's still gonna use it. It's, it just doesn't make sense. And, you know? That drug makes you believe things that are not true. I just wanted to share that today, Mark, you know? About the fentanyl, man, because a lot of people are dying, man. And I don't want to see... People that I know dropping. Now, there's so many people that died in Skid Row this last six months where it's all different. Everybody's dead. What the fuck happened? I left for like eight months. I come back. Everybody's dead. What the fuck? What happened? Fentanyl killed them all. That's what they say. You got to be honest. That's what they say. Just be careful out there with that fentanyl, man. Buddy, how, Mark? All right, John. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to get that out the market. Motherfucker.